Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm with Martin Marietta and I'm an estimator. My name is Chris Vogelsong. I'm a project manager here for the Lakewood project. What we have here today is we are going to be with our patch crew and what they're doing is they are patching uh, the bottom lift before we come in and overlay the whole street. As you can see, the road has been milled off and what this is called is a bottom lift. We are fixing any patches and cracks that are in the road before we would come in with a paver and put a brand new coat of asphalt, which we would refer to as a top lift. What we do is when, after we come in and we mill the road, we usually have the city uh, inspector come through and he marks out any areas that he thinks are failing uh, as far as that bottom mat goes so that uh, we can tear, do the tear out and patch it back so it's prepped for the new overlay. This particular area has a lot of patching in it, unfortunately. So this neighborhood, they're gonna be patching probably for about seven or eight days. So this project is the third year of a five-year rollover, which means uh, when, the bid, when this project was initially bid, it was bid out for five years. What that means is every year we have the first opportunity to do the work as long as the municipality approves our new pricing year to year. With that, we put every year we do new bids for the new roads that they put on for that new year. Today what you're going to see is you're going to see our patch crews where they're doing the tear out from the street and they're putting the new asphalt in. That brings it up to the same level that it was milled and then that brings us in to the paving part of the project that you saw last year where they're doing the final top. So what you see behind me is a smaller version of what you guys saw last year. Last year we had the large compactor roller and behind that was another piece of equipment that had all rubber tires that made the ruts in the road and individual compactions. This is uh, for patching, they use this, it's called a combo roller where it has the steel roller in the front and the rubber tires in the back. So this combo roller, since it's smaller and we're dealing with much smaller patches and we're gonna be putting another layer of asphalt over the top of this, it gives us the opportunity to do the different types of work that those other ones would on a smaller scale. Before we do the patching, uh, the large mill comes through. It's a large machine with a bunch of teeth on a drum that comes through and it makes the road grooved. So a lot of times when you guys are driving down the street, you see the construction signs that say grooves, pavement. This is what it looks like. So what you see here is our saw that we use to cut out the areas that were previously marked by the municipality uh, inspector. These white marks was what he marked out. And we're gonna come in with the saw. We're gonna make this just a little bit bigger, as you can see. The lines kind of came out about a foot, maybe two, wider than the area that was marked. This is the first step in the patching process where they will come through, outline the area, and then uh, they come through and they'll tear those chunks out before filling it back with new asphalt. This is the old asphalt that we're ripping out from the ground. And what happens is it's gonna go to our asphalt plant and we're gonna actually reuse it. We're gonna crush it into smaller chunks, obviously, but reuse it into the new mix eventually. So the difference between paving, where we have the actual paver come through and lays down the asphalt from the truck to the road, and it makes it smooth and then the rollers go over it. With patching, what we do here is we just use the front end loader with the bucket and they fill the hole, then he back drags that over, makes it nice and smooth the best he can before we put the roller on it. And between that is what you see behind me where these guys are evening out the edges and making it as level as possible before that roller goes on. A lot more handwork, less equipment involved. Hello, my name is Madison Guidry. I am a flagger. I ended up here I like working outside, that's how I ended up here. I used to work for retail, but I like working outside, I like talking to people, we in different places every day. And it's just a good environment. I love it. traveling. 